What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and today we are taking a look at the latest smartphone in Verizon's lineup to rock the awesome combination of dual core and LTE. This is the HTC built Resound with Beats Audio living in there. Let's go ahead and see if it's resounding as the specs would have you think. All right, so we are looking at a black box. This does look like the shipping packaging that you're probably gonna get when you walk into your Verizon store or order it, but there might be a little colorful sheath over it as well. This was sent to us courtesy of the PR folks at Verizon and HTC. We'll go ahead and take off its jacket because it's warm in here. And we agreed it with another black box. It got Verizon embossed on top, HTC logo on the bottom, Verizon 4G, certified with their blazingly fast LTE network. Go ahead and open this up, and there is the Resound with a pair of iBeats headphones. Take a look at those in just a minute. Go ahead and get this guy out of the box, or at least try to turn it over. Come here, phone. Boom. And here is the HTC Resound. Uh, it certainly does not feel like the thinnest phone uh, on the market. Push it off to the side for just a moment. Let's see what else we're gonna have in the box. So we've got them iBeats. Go ahead and pull these out. There we go. Take a look at these again in a sec. We're going to have a little magnetic monster package with iBeats logo all over, which is going to have inside, I'm guessing, ear tips. Aha, different size ear tips for different size ears and a clip to clip it to things. Push that off. 4G LTE SIM card, uh, and this is for well, the LTE network. SIM card is already installed in the phone. Push that off. Got some books and manuals. Got a cable, micro USB for syncing, and we've got, see if it's got one USB port or two. I wish to check that now. One USB port that goes into the wall. All right, so let's take a look at the phone power this guy on and we'll talk about all of its specs and the stuff that it can do. Let's see if it's got a charge in it. Power on. There we go. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and get a bit more intimate here. Let's bring the camera on in as this guy boots up. All right. So here is the HTC Resound. This is going to be available for $299 on a two-year contract on November 14th. Uh, it's running Android 2.3.4. We haven't heard anything about ice cream sandwich coming into it. Uh, but it is a just-released phone, so presumably Ice Cream Sandwich will eventually uh, make its way on here. From a dimension standpoint, it's 5.08 inches by 2.58 by pretty hefty 0.54 inches, so over half an inch thick. Uh, and it weighs 5.78 ounces. Uh, it's got a 4.3 inch, and it's always measured, diagonal SLCD screen, the resolution of 1280 by 720. Uh, and if you're keeping track at home, that's a 720p resolution. So we'll go ahead and pull us up here. Take a look at HTC Sense and all its glory. Uh, the battery is a 1,620 milliamp hour affair. It's being, being powered by a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm built processor with one gig of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, expandable micro USD. On the back, let's go and take a look at the hump of this guy. It's got a camera with dual LED flash. That's an eight megapixel shooter that can shoot 1080p video. And it's got a two megapixel shooter uh, on the front. We've seen uh, 1.3 megapixels become pretty standard. Uh, HTC stepped it up here with a surprisingly good two megapixel camera. Of course, you've got Verizon's LTE speeds, which are awesome and blazingly fast if you have uh, LTE in your area. And of course, you've got that V logo on the bottom, which means it beats audio technology. So you're also gonna get this here pair of iBeats headphones. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone itself. So you've got your typical HTC Sense buttons here um, in bright red. Uh, they are backlit as well. You've got home, you've got menu, back, and search. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the apps department in case there's anything new and exciting living in here. Got Let's Golf, Heart Pursuit, Backup Assistant, some Verizon stuff, mobile hotspot, gotta love that. You got a scanning application, Polaris Office, Verizon Navigator, why would you use that when you get the uh, awesome navigation rolled into the Android operating system. On the left-hand side of the device, 
you've got a microphone and the grand reveal of the sync and charging port. On the left hand side, volume rocker up and down, almost flush the device, a little bit uh, hard to feel without looking at it. So if you have it up to your head and you're trying to feel where it is, uh, definitely you're going to want to get used to it. Bottom, you've got microphones and the battery door where that gets removed. On the top, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack and your power and lock button. And the back is made of this soft touch, almost rubber feel. It's got a almost different raised sides of it. Uh, and you've got that textured HTC part. This is not a phone that's going to fall out of your hand. It's not a phone that's going to slide all along the desk. Go ahead and hit English. Um, it's really going to uh, sit nicely from where you want it to be. I'll go ahead and run through the whole setup process here. Skip setup. I don't want to set anything up. Um, so definitely not the thinnest phone on the department, uh, but you are getting some, uh, some pretty solid specs. I'd almost say next gen specs, but at the rate of dual core phones with LTE coming out, it's definitely a current gen. All right, so let's take a look at these iBeats. And it's hard to sort of show you uh, or let you hear it over, you know, over YouTube. Uh, but these are the iBeat headphones. And you can plug in any headphones you want, but when you use a pair of Beats headphones, which does have control for play, forward, back, and an inline mic. Warning. Next. Next. So much setup. Finish. There we go. Uh, you are going to get some uh, improved audio fidelity. So I'm going to go ahead and plug these guys in. And uh, we saw this Beats audio technology with the HTC built Sensation XL. So I'll go ahead and jump into music. And hopefully there's some music on here. No artist found. Well, I can't even show you what this is going to look like. No music found. That's disappointing. Um, generally, when you plug it in, you get music. And I'll show you guys this in the full review. You'll get a little red B icon that's going to show up there at the top. Uh, when you listen to non-Beats headphones versus Beats headphones, the idea is that you can certainly hear uh, improved audio with these guys. So something to keep in mind. If audio is important for you, uh, this is probably going to be a pretty solid choice uh, for phones. So we'll go ahead and continue to look through and see what else we got. Let's go ahead and jump into settings. And we'll take a look at the about this phone. We'll scroll down to the bottom, see what kind of software information uh, we're rocking here. So HTC Sense 3.5, as mentioned, Android 2.3.4. Easy to remember if you can count, 234. Uh, you can see the baseband, PRL, and all that PRI versions, uh, and the rest of that software stuff. Let's go ahead and jump home. Uh, so as I mentioned, this is not the only dual core LTE device. Uh, there's another phone on the block that uh, rocks this. Actually, there are two other ones. Here, let's bring in uh, the just released one. This is the Droid Razor. Um, similarly uh, specced, but you notice a big difference. If you look at these two side by side, the Droid Razor is just incredibly thin. Uh, hump or no hump, uh, it's still uh, much thinner than the HTC Resound. Uh, but presumably the audio fidelity is not going to be as good uh, on the Razer. But we'll put these two head to head and we'll do a decision. But in case you wanted to see what these guys looked like, I thought you'd get a kick out of it. So push this guy off. This is the HTC Resound. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Is this going to be your next phone? Uh, I want to hear from you. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for all your tech news, including hands-on reviews, impressions, and awful jokes. I am John Rettinger, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.